Okay, YouTube. So I seen a video about a guy doing programming on Vista 20, and it was pretty good. But he didn't touch on the fact if you didn't have an alpha keypad. So I'm going to have an alpha keypad set up next to it, just a standard text keypad. And we're going to program some zones with this keypad, and it's going to show you on what's going on. So hopefully it'll help you out. Uh, I've also got a little cheat sheet. <coughs> I'll stick in front of the camera. Maybe you can pause it. And this is what we're going to go on. So here we go. First part, going to programming. Um, it doesn't have to be ready or anything like that. Um, just do your programming code 800. 4112 is the default 800. In a standard keypad, it's going to just display 20, alpha keypad, installer code 20. So we will do star 56. <coughs> Excuse me. That gets us into the programming. Now, on your keypad, it's going to be blank. On an alpha, it would say set to confirm. And set to confirm, if you enter yes, uh, you'll be prompted to confirm each transmitter after entering the serial and loop numbers. Um, so basically, if you're manually typing in serial numbers, and then it's going to ask you to, you know, uh, transmit and confirm it. We're not worried about that. Even when I program wireless, I'm, I don't even usually worry with the set to confirm. Just hit star on your regular keypad, and it'll just go to zone programming. So here we go. Uh, it's going to first thing you're going to come up is the zone number. Default is zone one, and we'll go ahead and program one because one is a little different. Um, in this little cheat sheet. Uh, this step here says this next step does not come in on zone one. Um, skip to response time. So that this hardware type here won't be there on zone one. Every other zone it will be, but not this one. So let's get started. Zone one shows what zone number. This is a summary screen. It's just going to still say zero one. Zone type that says, you know, uh, right now it's 09, which is fire. That's what default on zone one is. Uh, we're going to, you can change it, leave it, whatever zone you want, you put on zone one, you'd want to put the corresponding type to. Uh, we'll go ahead and just put it as a zero one entry exit. Uh, now, the next, after you press star, the next thing you're going to come across is a blank screen but it's asking for partition number. You can change that partition number from this keypad. It's just not going to show up here. Hit star. Reporting code is the next thing that shows up and it tells you right here that your reporting code is 10. You can change that if needed. If you want to leave it alone, just hit star. The next thing that comes up, and now you, on the other zones it'll ask you for hardware type, but on zone one it just goes straight to response time. We can go ahead and just skip past that we can explain what all these are if needed, but this is just programming. Most of the time you're going to leave all this default, like in response time and such. The next screen is another summary screen, and it just shows you the current zone that you're on, on this keypad. You go star again, it shows a blank screen, but it's asking you to program alpha. If you have a text, or just a simple text keypad, you're not going to be programming any alpha. The next, if you hit star again, the next screen is going to show you the next zone number. So we're now we're at zone two. We'll go ahead and fly through zone two and show you where it has that extra step. Summary screen shows you what zone you're on. The next time you press it shows you um, the zone type. We'll change it to a three just for giggles. Star. The next screen is going to be partition number, but it's going to be blank. Star again. Reporting code. Star again. Hardware type. Now, this is the step that does not show up on zone one. Uh, this is in the line resistor. You can change it to normally open, normally closed, you know, if not needed. But I suggest you use in the line resistors and put them at the end of the line. And I will do another video and hopefully I'll put a link somewhere up in here to it on why you need in the line res uh, resistors and why they're important or and so forth and so on. Uh, we'll just skip through this we hit the star key. Now here's that response time that was on one. Now the blank screen, star again. Summary screen shows you what current zone you're on. Star again, 
program alpha is going to be blank, star again. Now we're at zone 3. And see zone 3, summary, type, partition, report code, hardware type. See 3s, 2, 3, 4, all these have where you can take this into line resistor out, but zone 1 does not. So it is one less step. We'll just go ahead and blaze through this. Now, um, another thing I wanted to show you was how to delete a zone and what the differences are because you can disable or delete. And this little piece of paper, yeah, I kind of had to do a little editing, but to delete a zone, it tells you right here, you can pause this and, and look at it, write it down. Okay, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll get all the way out, just for giggles. Star ninety nine gets you out of programming. So four one one two eight zero zero. Star fifty six. Set to confirm. We'll just hit star to get for no. Now say we want to delete zone one. Star. Star. When it asks for zone type, you hit zero zero star. Now this is going to ask you delete zone yes or no. What the delete zone means is if you hit no or just star then it's just going to disable the zone. If you hit delete it will wipe out information that you'd put in there. Let's just say that I had a wireless zone and this is where I think it comes into play more than anything. Say if I had a wireless zone and I had uh, each wireless zone has a little serial number on it let's say I had a wireless zone with this serial number in it if I wanted to just disable the zone say it had a low battery whatever and I just want to disable the zone you'd go in here put zero zero as the zone type and it says delete you just hit star or no if I wanted to dis that's just disable because later on I could come back and put a three or one or whatever I wanted to in there as a zone type and bring it back to life if I wanted to delete it totally you would hit one at this field and it's going to delete that zone and wipe out serial numbers, wipe out in, any information that you put in there. So you could reprogram that zone to a new transmitter or what have you. Let's just say you had one go bad. You go in there, delete the zone, and reprogram it, um, reprogram your wireless zone. And, um, yeah, so that is programming. Uh, with a non-standard alpha keypad zone programming because some people it was a little confusing um, and hopefully that will help you out uh, any questions you know leave them in the comments I'll try to help as much as I can if I need to post videos on certain other things make it easier for you just let me know also forgot to mention uh, I will do a video on adding wireless transmitters with an non-alpha keypad. You can do transmitters with a standard keypad. It's a little bit harder uh, if you don't know what you're doing, but I'll show a video with these keypads side by side exactly how to do it in a video that should come up if you got your annotations on somewhere around in here. So keep an eyeball out for that if you want to look at it. And thank you.